The Nanovo ThinkBook 16P Gen 4 is touted as a business creativity tool packed with high-end components like a 16-inch 3.2K IPS display, Intel i7-13700H processor partnered with a tasty NVIDIA GeForce GTX 4060. Is the 16P a multimedia powerhouse, mobile workstation, or perhaps a gaming laptop in disguise? Let's find out. <music> For those familiar with the Lenovo Legion range, you might be forgiven for seeing double. It shares the same case as the Legion Slim 5i Gen 8, minus the gaming accents and RGB keyboard. It's military standard 810H tested, made of aluminium top and bottom in a storm grey colour. The chassis has a smooth finish thanks to the anodized sandblasting. It tips the scales around 2.2 kilograms or 4.85 pounds. Okay if you're moving it from backpack to desk, but not one to carry its large dimensions around from room to room. The chassis and keyboard deck is solid and has no flexing whatsoever. The display lid is firm when pressure is applied, giving excellent protection to the screen. There's a large vent at the bottom to extract the cold air up. Rubber feet around the main vent aid in pushing more air in. There's ventilation slots on the sides and at the rear to maintain the outgoing airflow to dissipate internal heat. The ThinkBook 16P is made with 50% recycled aluminium on the keyboard frame C side and 30% recycled plastic on the AC adapter. To open the bottom cover, remove the eight screws, pry up the latches and then remove the lower case. Remove the RF absorber to reveal the two sodium slots from memory, up to 32 gigabytes of DDR5 5200 MHz. There are two M.2 SSD slots, one shorter 2242 and the primary SSD is the longer 2280 SSD. Both take PCIe Gen 4 SSDs. The 80 watt hour battery is removable along with the WLAN card. This review model has a 16 inch 3.2K 3200x2000 IPS anti-glare non-touch display panel. Color gamut is rated at 100% DCI P3 and x rite factory color calibration. It's also Dolby Vision and iSafe certified 2.0. There's an iCam mode to filter visible blue light to reduce eye strain. Thin bezels surround the panel. The screen is great for content creators and gamers alike. Accurate color range, fast response times, wide viewing angles, crisp text and images. The 3.2K resolution also helps with business productivity, showing more content on the 16 inch display. Function and R keys will toggle between 60Hz and 165Hz refresh rates. The higher 165Hz gives smoother motion during gameplay and scrolling through pages plus clearer visuals with images. Brightness is rated at 430 nits. In practice, 100% is very bright. 70% is comfortable for daily use. The matte overlay and generous brightness rating ensures that you can view the display in strong lighting or near a sunny window. There's an ambient sensor to automatically adjust brightness levels. The single hinge almost covers the width of the display lid. It will open nearly 180 degrees flat to find the optimum viewing angle. Due to the bottom heavy chassis, lifting the lid is easy with one or two fingers, especially as you can grip the slight bulge housing, the webcam and sensors. Talking of which, in some regions you can get the optional Nanovo Magic Bay suite that includes a 4K webcam that can be magnetically attached to the top of the lid and connects to the pogo pin. You can use both cameras at the same time, which can be useful for video conferences. The other optional items are a LED light bar and a 4G WAN module that can be connected to the notebook. Tip, there is a cheaper display option with a 16 inch WQXGA 2560x1600 IPS anti-glare non-touch 100% sRGB 400 nits 60 Hz panel. On the left we have a Kensington Nano security slot, one USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 supporting data transfer power delivery 3 and display port 1.4, one Thunderbolt 4 USB 4 40 gigs per second supporting data transfer power delivery 3 and display port 1.4 and a 3.5 mm headphone microphone combo jack. On the right we have a SD Express 7.0 card reader. Around the back we have one HDMI 2.1 up to 8K 60Hz, two USB Type-A 3.2 Gen 2 ports, one with always-on charging, 
and a power connector. Inside is an Intel Wi-Fi 6E AX211 supporting 11AX 2x2 and Bluetooth 5.1 combo card. Wireless connectivity is excellent connected to a Wi-Fi 6 access point or a 5G Wi-Fi 6 travel router. Likewise, Bluetooth connectivity was ultra reliable to an external mouse or speaker. The spill resistant full size keyboard is very comfortable to type or game for long periods thanks to the large keycaps and 1.5mm key travel. The only bugbears are the small enter key when you sometimes accidentally hit the hash key next to it and the slightly smaller numeric keypad keys. The buttonless glass surface multi-touch touchpad supports Microsoft Precision drivers for smooth and accurate glide action with your fingers. The OCD in you will panic at the touchpad not being central but slightly to the left. The integrated mouse buttons work well but are clicky in use. You do forget about it after a while. Overall the touchpad is great to use. Audio consists of two woofers at 2 watts and two tweeters at 2 watts. Tuning is by Dolby Atmos powered by Harman Kardon. There's a smart amplifier AMP running the show. Sound is quite good from the four speakers. Plenty of depth and warmth to the vocal tones when playing your Spotify playlist or talking to colleagues over Zoom. Mids and highs are good. Volume is loud enough to fill a small room. The only weakness is the lack of bass. Plug in your headphones to compensate. Here are some audio samples. The webcam is a full HD and IR hybrid camera with a sliding privacy shutter. There were two microphone arrays positioned above the hump at the top of the display lid. Video quality is above average, okay for using it on Zoom or team calls with your colleagues or friends. It's not the best but not the worst webcam out there. Performance degrades significantly in low lighting conditions. If you do need better video quality, there is the Magic Bay 4K webcam option depending on your 16p regional model. This review model has an Intel Core i7-13700H, 14 cores, 6 performance cores from 2.4 to 5 GHz and 8 efficient cores from 1.8 to 3.7 GHz, 20 threads with a processor base power of 45 watts, up to 115 watts on turbo power, along with 16 GB of DDR5 5200 MHz memory and 512 GB of SSD M.2 2280 PCIe 4x4 NVMe storage. The 16P flies through most work or college tasks. Adobe Creative apps like Photoshop or Premiere Pro or even a spot of AAA gaming after hours. Tip, upgrade the memory to a maximum 32GB and change the SSD to a larger 2TB PCIe Gen 4 one for maximum performance if you intend on using it for serious workflows. For our benchmark tests, we set the best performance mode in Windows and plug the laptop into the mainstream testing. Here are the benchmarking results for the ThinkBook 16P Gen 4. 3D Mark Time Spy results came in with an overall score of 10,698. CPU score of 14,010 and a graphics score of 10,270. 3D Mark Time Spy Extreme overall came in at 5,055, graphics score 4,887 and CPU score of 6,285. 3D Mark Fire Strike Ultra results came in with an overall score of 6,128, graphics score 5,920, physics score of 30,920 and a combined score of 3,162. 3D Mark Fire Strike Extreme results came in with an overall score of 11,927, graphics score of 12,330, physics score of 31,204 and a combined score of 5,492. 3D Mark Port Royal score came in with 5,723. 3D Mark Speedway score of 2,557. Cinebench 2024 testing produced a score in multi core of 990 and 109 in single core. PC Mark 10 had an overall score of 7,705. PC Mark 10 Extended had an overall score of 10,086. Superposition resulted in a score of 18,447. Geekbench 6.2.2 CPU benchmark resulted in a single core score of of 2,531 and 13,203 in multi-core. The GPU compute benchmark results came in with a score of 95,273. Blender version 4 benchmark had a score of 246.91 for the i7-13700H. For the RTX 4060, the Blender score was 3,323.54. Here is a comparison with the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro 16-inch. The Intel i7-13700H is based on the Raptor Lake H series Alder Lake architecture. It sits close to its rival, the AMD Ryzen 9 Pro 7940HS. 
above the Intel i7-1370P and 28.5% behind the newer Intel i7-14700HX in multi-core benchmarking scores. Using the quick CPU tool plugged in balance mode idle, CPU temperature is around 47 Celsius. CPU clock speed is around 1 GHz on the E calls and 1.5 GHz on the P calls and 6 to 7 watts CPU power. With video playback balance mode, the i7-13700H doesn't break a sweat at 42 Celsius on average, 1.2 GHz on the E calls and 1.1 GHz on the P calls and 8 to 11 watts. The dual fans stay quiet and the temperature at the vents is 31 Celsius. Set to high performance plugged in gaming with Cyberpunk 2077, the CPU fluctuates between 2.83 GHz on the E calls and 3.5 GHz on the P calls. CPU temperature is around 83 Celsius and CPU power is constant at 60 watts. The fans kick fast and loud at 51 decibels. Temperatures around the vents is 39 Celsius. Set to high performance plugged in running Blender benchmarking, the CPU fluctuates between 3.4 GHz on the E calls to 4.5 GHz on the P calls. CPU temperature is around 96 Celsius and CPU power is constant at 115 watts. The fans do kick faster and louder at up to 56.4 decibels. Temperatures around the vents is 39 Celsius. In battery mode, balance mode, video playback, the CPU power is 7 watts on average. Clock speed is 1 to 1.5 GHz on both sets of cores and CPU temperature is is 44 Celsius. The fans stay virtually silent and chassis temperatures hit 31.2 Celsius at most. Same can be said when running the Blender benchmark tool under battery mode. Best performance. CPU power stays constant at 55 watts. 2.8 GHz on E calls to 3 to 3.5 GHz clock speed on the P calls and CPU temperature of 64 Celsius. The dual fans and four vents do keep the fan noise 41.6 decibels at most and temperatures down 35 Celsius at most when running heavy workflows. Here's a list of the target audience for the Novo ThinkBook 16P Gen 4. Creative pros and content creators, business power users, content developers, gamers, there's an integrated Intel Iris XE iGPU inside the 16P, backed up by a dedicated GPU in the form of the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060 with 8GB of GDDR6 memory. TGP, or Total Graphics Power, is rated at up to 115 watts. RTX 4060 is a high-end laptop GPU based on the AD107 chip and uses the Ada Lovelace architecture. On average, the 4060 is between the 3070 and 3070 Ti in general performance performance scores, its sibling the RTX 4070 is 13% above it in benchmark results. The ThinkBook 16 can run most games in the highest settings at 1080p for demanding games. Less demanding games can easily run in Quad HD. Tip: Enable the GPU overclock function in the Lenovo Vantage software to boost GPU performance. There's also two BIOS settings to tweak the performance even further. The discrete graphics, DGPU only mode and the super boost function that allows higher temperatures and fan noise. Here's some gaming samples. There are security features with the 16P to help protect your sensitive data. 
a fingerprint reader integrated into the power button, IR camera for Windows Hello facial recognition, camera privacy shutter to stop prying eyes, an AMD firmware TPM 2.0 security encryption chip, and a Kensington Nano security slot. Inside is an 80 watt hour battery. Under video playback, balance mode, 50% brightness at 60 hertz. Battery life is just over six and a half hours. Under balance mode, 50% brightness, 60 hertz. Power user usage like web surfing on multiple tabs, web-based apps like Google Docs, a few Teams meetings, Word documents. Battery life is just over three and a half hours. Under best performance playing Helldivers 2, 50% brightness, battery life is less than two hours. Included is a 230 watt slim AC adapter. One hour of charging gives you over 60% of charge. It takes about two hours to fully charge from zero. The good, the bad, and the really bad. Ample performance. The high-end components make the 16P an excellent productivity tool for most categories including business use, content creation and developer work tasks. Plus the RTX 4060 will give you a cheeky game or two after work. Great input. The keyboard has a good typing experience overall. If I'm nitpicking, the enter key and the numeric pad could have been larger. The glass touchpad is a good size for comfortable finger gliding. Plenty of ports. The 16P has two USB-C ports, including one as a Thunderbolt 4, two USB-A ports, HDMI, and a useful SD card reader for content creators. Decent display. Lenovo have paired an excellent display with the 16P. 3.2K resolution, matte IPS for less reflections than glass panels, a generous 430 nits brightness rating, and the stars of the show, x rite factory calibration, 100% DCI-P3 color accuracy, and 165 hertz for buttery smooth motion. Upgradable. The 16P has two sodium slots to upgrade your memory from 16GB to a maximum of 32GB. There's also two M.2 SSD slots for dual storage options. Heavy. It's not the lightest laptop to carry around with you, so take that into consideration. Although if you compare it with some gaming and mobile workstations, it's not the heaviest. Noisy fans. Under extreme performance mode, the dual fans can spin up to 56 decibels constantly, making it distracting, especially if you are working in a quiet office or room in your home. No Ethernet. As a business workhorse, the 16P should have had an Ethernet option, especially if you need to access large files over the local network. Weak battery life. The 16P has poor battery life as it's aimed as a desktop replacement rather than for a traveler or mobile user. 32 gigabytes maximum. The 16P might see itself as part mobile workstation, but Lenovo have limited the memory capacity to 32 gigabytes. Fine for most people, but if you're working with heavy hitting apps like 3D modeling or CAD, the extra memory would have helped. There's healthy competition in the high-end mobile workstation category. What are the alternatives to the Lenovo ThinkBook 16P Gen 4? In no particular order, here's some to consider. Dell Inspiron 16 Plus 2024. Apple MacBook Pro 16. HP ZBook Studio G10, Razer Blade 16 2024, MSI Creator Pro Z16 HX Studio B13V, Asus ProArt Studio Book 16 OLED H7604, Acer Swift Go 16 2024. The Lenovo ThinkBook 16P Gen 4 is a Swiss knife of laptops. Part content creator laptop, part mobile workstation and part gaming laptop. Price-wise, it sits below the more expensive mobile workstations and premium gaming laptops. No surprise it shares the same chassis as its gaming cousin, the Legion Slim 5i. The Intel i7-13700H CPU and RTX 4060 GPU are tried and tested components that will give you great performance. The chassis is well put together with plenty of ports to shake a tree including an SD card reader for content creators. The keyboard and touchpad are tactile and comfortable to use for long hours. The bright 3.2K display is a joy to use, color accurate, fast refresh rates with the 165Hz option, plenty of screen with the 16 by 10 aspect ratio and high resolution. Under extreme performance mode, the dual fans do get loud and the webcam is nothing to write home about. Battery life is weak, not a laptop to take on your travels. If you take the price tag of $1,434 or $1,823 plus taxes, the ThinkBook 16 takes most of the boxes for a high-performance workstation without having to donate one of your organs. It's ideal for professionals, content creators, and anyone who values raw power and excellent visuals. The icing on the cake is the gaming capabilities if you want to wind down after a hard day at work. What do you guys think? Leave your comments and discuss below. Hope you guys enjoyed the review of the Lenovo ThinkBook 16P Gen 4 laptop. Please click on the like button if you enjoyed this review video and subscribe if you would like to watch more of our tech videos. Thanks for watching. Cheers.